Now, the federal government have now pledged to provide potable water to Nigerians through its agency, including the uh, Benita Wirina River Basin Development Authority. The water scheme project, led by engineer Salu Ahmed, is committed to providing water for home use and irrigation for two farmers, ensuring food su uh, sufficiency during challenging times. Access is denied either to potable water or inadequate supply. It can be a cause of strife. And that is why the theme this year of World Water Day is Water for Peace. Yes, the, the minister, the honorable minister flagged it off in our premises where again we were tapping water from underground sources for provision of irrigation. And the scheme is on. Farmers are on the field. We are supporting them with mechanization services. And um, they are also getting access to water. We had some challenges, but nevertheless, we are surmounting the challenges in order to ensure that that scheme, you know, runs now and forever. Water, a fundamental element of life, has the power to unite us in our common humanity. It knows no boundary, no borders, and it connects us all in ways that transcend language, culture, and creed. A famous musician say water you no know, get enemy yet despite its universal importance access to clean water remains a privilege for many rather than a basic human right across the globe millions of people still lack access to safe drinking water and sanitation leading to profound inequalities and exacerbating social tensions in regions where water scarcity is acute, conflict over water resources have become increasingly common, threatening stability and peace. Oh, very well. They are very, very good. They are, we thank them very much. Waiting their brief for this community now. People are be jealous in on it. Now waiting we pray for. Now happy for this community. Now good thing we pray for this community. This water now, everywhere people when they turn, they like to come here and come build house because of this water.